In this program, I am going to differentiate between automatic local variables, global variable and static variables through a live demo of the code. So let me first explain this code. I have defined a global variable i with the initial value 10. I have two functions, one is called test, one is called gbl which is used to print the value of the global variable. In main what I have done is I have declared an integer variable i starting with 1 and as long as i is less than 2 it is printing the value of i. Now since i is declared in the for loop the life of this i is only going to be between for and this semicolon. Outside this, this i is not visible. So when I call test, I have called test once and I have called test twice. So when the first time test is called, I have defined a static int called i as 0. So first time test is called, i is increased from 0 plus 10, i will print as 10. Then next time when I go back here, when I call back test, i doesn't get reinitialized to 0. Static means remember the previous value. So the previous value of i was 10. So now 10 gets added with further 10, it becomes 20. So now i in test will print 20. So first time the result here will print 10, next time it will print 20. Now what I have done is, I have tried to make i equal to 90. Now which i am I referring to? Definitely not this particular i because the life of this i is already over. It is not visible in main because it has a life only between the for and this semicolon. I am referring to the global variable i because that is the only variable i which is available at that point of time. So I make the global variable i as 90. Then I invoke the function called as global. So when I call global, although I have given the initial value of global variable as 10, it is going to print 90 here. Let's try to verify these facts by trying to run this particular program on the online GDB compiler. All right. Okay, so let's hope it first compiles. All right, so far, so good. So here if you see here, it is compiled. It is printing the value of i in main as 1. Okay, now why is it printing the value of i in main as 1? Because I am using the for loop and this is the i, its value is being printed. i is 1, so the value of i is being printed as 1. Now when I am calling test, okay, test is here, it's a static variable, first time it is initialized to 0, then it becomes 0 plus 10, so it is printing 10 here. Next time when test is called for the second time, it takes the old value and adds the new value, so i in test becomes 20. Then finally what I am doing in main is, I am changing the value of i to 90, but the value I am touching is the global variable i. This has become 90. So when I'm invoking this function GBL, I'm coming here and that's why the value of i in GBL happens to be 90. So a few things I need to explain. The life of the global variable or the global variable gets created the first time the program is running in the main memory and only when we come at the end of this flower bracket after main, it gets removed from the memory. Same with the static variable, it gets created when this test is called for the first time and only when we end the main flower bracket, it is going to be destroyed. It is important that static variable be created and remain in the memory because I am going to use the old value of static variable every time I am going to process the data. Now this fellow i is only going to get created or has a life when the for loop runs for the first time, the minute I come to this semicolon, i is destroyed in the memory, i has no role in this particular program. So I hope this way you understood what is global, what is automatic local and what is static variable and what is their visibility and life. The visibility of this i is only between this. The visibility of global i which is 10 is visible in main, it is visible in test, it is visible in GBL. Global variables are visible everywhere. Now what is the visibility of static variable? This is a static local type of variable. So this static variable int i is only visible between this test user defined functions. Outside test user defined function, this static int i has no visibility and no scope.
So I hope you understood the scope. The scope of this fellow is only two lines. The scope of global variable is the entire program. The scope of static is only within this particular function.